Okay, so in today's math lesson, we started talking about the value of ratios, and I'm going to discuss that a little bit today. But we're still using the uh, tape diagrams, and we're actually taking a little bit of a jump from the tape diagram, uh, which is a, really a concrete model of a situation, and going into more of the abstract, talking about the fractions. And uh, so here we go. So we have Alyssa's extended family is staying at the lake house this weekend uh, for a family reunion. She's in charge of making pancakes for the entire group, which is really my favorite thing to do, by the way. Not only make pancakes, but eat them. Anyway, the pancake mix requires two cups of flour for every ten, uh, ten pancakes. Now, the first uh, situation here, first question says, uh, write a ratio to show the relationship between the number of cups of flour and the number of pancakes here. So it's two cups of flour uh, for every ten pancakes. All right, not so bad. And then it says determine the value of the ratio. Now, to determine the value of the ratio here, uh, what I want to do is kind of turn it into a fraction here. So it looks a little bit like this, a 2 out of 10 situation. Now, a 2 out of 10 situation, if I was to draw this out, I have a, uh, let's see, flowers here and pancakes here and two cups of flour for every 10, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 pancakes. If I was to split this up and really find the root of it, I guess, really simplify things down a little bit, I would determine or I could see that not only is it every two cups of flour for 10 pancakes, but it's really for every one cup of flour, I can get one, two, three, four, five pancakes. So I'm really going to strip this down a little bit and simplify things. So the value of my ratio is actually a one to five. Um, one cup of flour equaling five different pancakes, okay? So once we get the root of the, uh, oh, excuse me, the value of the ratio, we can pretty much solve any problem with regard to that ratio, but it's always important to get to the, to value, the value of that ratio first, okay? So let's see what's going on, what else is going on here. Now in problem three here, it says use the value of that ratio to fill the following two multiplicative comparison statements. All right, so let's see what's that, what that is all about. The number of pancakes made is what times the amount of flour, uh, cups of flour needed. Well, if, if it's a 1 to 5 ratio, all right, the value of the ratio is 1 to 5, something like that, um, and pancakes to the cups of flour, well, what's going to happen is here, the number of pancakes made is going to be five times the number of, of uh, cups of flour needed, or... 5 to 1. So for every 5 pancakes, I'm going to need 1 cup of flour. And for letter B, the opposite is true. It says the amount of cups of flour needed is actually 1 fifth then, or therefore, the number of pancakes made. Okay? Now again, if I wanted to show that, I would have my flour, I have my pancakes. There's my 1 cup of flour. 2, 3, 4, 5. There are my 5 pancakes. Okay? So five times you can see that the amount of pancakes is going to be one, two, three, four, five times that of the flour. And the reverse is for every, um, for every five pancakes, one, two, three, four, five, I need a fifth of that in flour. So that's where that comes from, one-fifth of the five there. Okay. Now problem four says if Alyssa has to make 70 pancakes, that's this guy right here, 70 pancakes, how many cups of flour will uh, she have to use? Well, if I took that 70 and I divided it by the amount of boxes I have, which is 5, and I decided to divide that, 5 goes into 7 once, I subtract, I get 2, I bring down the 0, that goes 4. It means the value of each of these cells is 14. 14, 14, and 14. And this one already gives my answer. So flour, I would need 14 cups of flour to make 70 pancakes. Now again, we're starting to take that jump away from the concrete and into the abstract. And if I was to want, if I was to use my the value of my ratios to solve this one here, I'm trying to find out how many cups of flour um, I need. Let's see. So the amount of flour. Watch this. The amount of flour is what of the pancakes or the amount of pancakes. How much cup of pancakes? Okay. So the amount of flour is actually going to be one-fifth, and I have that right here, 
is one fifth of the amount of pancakes. Well, if the pancakes equals 70, okay, I really want one fifth of 70. Now, how do I arrive at one fifth of 70? Well, I'm going to take 70, I'm going to split it into five parts because I want one fifth of that. And that I already did, but I'll do it again. There it is. I'm going to take 70, divide it into five parts, and I get 14, same way I did before. Okay? So here's the concrete version over here, so you can see everything happening. And this is more of the abstract version here, using the value of the ratio to help me solve my problem. Okay? So that's it, folks. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.